with two weeks down, Gone Girl stands undefeated at the box office. You're asking me if I killed my wife? For the second week in a row, Gone Girl has taken the number one spot at the box office, bringing in an estimated $26.8 million and successfully holding off all other challengers, including Robert Downey Jr.'s The Judge, the other R-rated melodrama in theaters this weekend. Not only was The Judge nowhere near the number one spot, it didn't even make the top three, with many casting the blame on adult moviegoers still watching Gone Girl. Next up, where did Count Chocula really come from? In second place this week, Dracula Untold, an origin story of how the gentle family man Vlad the Impaler turned into the Dracula of today. The film starring Luke Evans brought in an estimated $23.4 million, but received less than rave reviews from critics. The film is more action than horror, but as RogerEbert.com Simon Abrams explains, it's missing anything that could push it past average. If you step away from Dracula Untold long enough to describe it, you'll realize how soul-crushingly unimaginative it is. And lastly, Walt Disney makes a movie about Mondays. Good morning. Yes! Let's go, Wreck-It Ralph! Steve Carell and Jennifer Garner star in Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day which brought in an estimated $19 million and has left seven out of 10 moviegoers happy. The movie is based on the 1970s children's book of the same name, which has not only been made into a movie, but has also been an animated musical on HBO and a live theater play. As for next week, a war movie with, you guessed it, really bad odds. It's five against 300. We never run before, why are we gonna run now? For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.